Hi everyone! In this tutorial for the dialogue system for Unity, we'll set up a multiplayer scene using Opsiv's third-person controller. To start, I've imported the dialogue system and third-person controller. I've also set up third-person controller's standard inputs and layers, and enabled multiplayer. I've also set up the multiplayer demo scene as described on Opsiv's website. On the dialogue system side, I've imported version 167, which introduces the Lua Network Commands component. And I've imported the third-person controller support package. We're going to base this off of the demo scene, so make a copy of the scene and the player prefab. I'll rename the scene to Tutorial and the prefab to Network Player. On Network Player, add an Interact ability so that the player can interact with an NPC to start a conversation. Next, we'll add the standard dialog system components. We'll start with the dialog system third-person controller bridge. I'll skip the setup of the item stuff since that's covered in the standard tutorial. And then add a show cursor on conversation, if your dialog UI is going to use a cursor and add a Lua Network Commands component. Now edit the scene, and we'll assign the Network Player prefab that we just set up as the Player prefab. Then we'll add a Dialog Manager prefab, and use a Dialog database that I've set up. This database has one test conversation that just tells a dumb joke. The first time through, it sets a variable heard joke to true, so that the second time it can skip the joke. And now let's set up the NPC. Private Heart is just a regular model with a conversation trigger. And we'll set it up using the standard interactable dialog system interactable target and conversation trigger setup that we covered in the basic third person controller dialog system tutorial. Now let's test this out in multiplayer. Here's the conversation on one client. And we'll run it again. The variable was set. So we'll switch over to the other client now. Now on this side, notice that the variable was not set. 
This is because the dialogue system maintains a separate environment on each client. This allows each player to manage its own set of quests, variables, etc. In this case, however, we want to share that variable. In the script field, use the net set bool Lua function instead of setting it only in the local variable table. The dialog system documentation has a complete listing of all net set functions, which you can use to set variables and quest states. And now let's try it again. Back to our second client. And there we go, the variable was synced. And that's it. Thanks for watching.